Yes, yes, peeps, yes, peeps. Welcome back to the channel, you know. Welcome back to original living. And so, you see the setting, some spear guns and things here. So, we are at the next location this morning. And um, the weather, the place kind of overcast. And the rain look like it's going to fall. But the sea calm still, you know. See, yep. The calm man, the calm seas, the rough sea that you bother down there. So. But we are going to do what we are doing and jump into the water quickly because the place is overcast, as we will say. And um, see, calm still, but the rain has come. And I want the water wet, we don't want to get wet up. So I will jump off quickly before we get wet up, you know. And I will see what going on this morning. So stay tuned, and I will get the gears them together. I don't know what Meet Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Lynx. This man in a half a wet suit I do it. I think they want to get one meter. One meter? Yeah, I don't want to get one. Suppose you go down, you can't get one. Oh, you can't get one. 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 The man is so young, so he's a key, you know.
were in the water now and in the shallow here the visibility is poor very sandy so we make our way to the deeper side and the visibility was terrible as well but we could see a little bit so we decided on continuing spearfishing Here we saw a little snapper We didn't get a shot So you can add us have one more snapper and make a jump on it seen a couple of half pound to a pound size snapper and they were had some rain so I carry up my next rubber band to the last hitch here I made a jump on a little one never got it in range there This location, I knew that a lot of snapper live here, but I wasn't seeing the size ones that I knew live here. So we started in half down the sea. So here we see a few grunts. So I made a job. They are left, head up in the rocks. So while heading down the sea, we just came in upon pure dirty water. It's just getting dirty and dirtier. But nevertheless, we are handy hunt. I'm just looking for that one or two good fish. The current was right, the sea was flat, the little rain has passed, but it is still overcast though. If you're still here guys, please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Here's a few guns. No chance from them. It's a lovely gold tail. Normally, we always out a little deeper, but because of the dirty water, we have to stick to the shallow.
Here I came across a few more guys spearfishing. Here I came upon this lovely hedge. It's like a drop off. So I make a drop there. And it seems lively from the top. And it is a lot of grunts. But didn't get any chances on this drop. So what I notice whenever I'm on the top. All the fish came back out of the holes. So I stick here for a little time and make a few jobs here. Because I was almost at the exit point and I didn't spear any fish yet. So I knew that I have to get a few fish here. That's the second job. Coming up empty and deep. So here I saw a lovely mackerel. It was swimming straight towards me. So I just sit and lay away at it. Get a stone shot. I dived with those guys before, so now I know who else is in the water. see this it's a lovely mackerel about a two pound size one or a pound and a half Jump at the jump off. So I this lovely red belly. Nice one to take home. So I took that one. And at this time, Kenado was in the shallow. As he said, you have to build up a string. And in order to do that, you have to stick to the shallow for the type of fish that he need. So I am right on the hedge, spear fishing. Our next job. This spot is a lovely spot. Lots of life. 
and I saw good eating fish. Nothing never came out, so I head up back and make an next job. Here's a lovely gold tail. that one but somehow it rip off the spear the spear got stuck so I have to go up to the top and wrap my spear gun on the chat line and head down back up release the spear this is our next job the same spot was a red belly, saw me and run. And I knew that if the water was clean, I would get a lot of fish here. So I move on from that spot now, heading down, closer to the exit pipe. So I made a job here, saw a few guns, but when I got down there, they all fled. Came up on the next job off here, yeah? so I made a random job. Just to see what's down there. When I got down there, I saw a few chubs. So I didn't bother to go any further down. I just head back up. So I love the gun betwixt this rock here. So I unset one of the rubber bands. Try to see if I could see him. Seems as he went up in the rock, so I have to left. Next random job. Didn't see anything down there. But because of the murkiness of the water, I have to go down and check for anything. And I did saw something. It was a grunt in and out of this hole here. It didn't came out back. trying to spear the two of them one time and you know lose both so here I saw a chub I was trying to sneak up but it saw me and head off into the dirtiness so this is the end of this dive catch you guys on the beach yes guys so me jump out of the water you know yeah man, you know spend a lot of time in the water. Probably about two and a half hours. And reach in first because cannot just stop because I'm still saying I make up a string for him. Right? But you don't know me I on some nice fish to come home come cook. You don't know it's set, you know I want some nice fish. So I guess him I come in, I suppose so. So I'm going at the shallow yeah, so I suppose in that. Only walk by him because he has a little hair and figure around see him. Yeah. Yeah, man, and the water, the water not so nice at all. 
water dirty man. It calm you know, it calm on the current you know. But it's dirty. But it's a command still, a little better than the last time. A little better. Current you want know, calmer. You see more flatter. Still, yeah, come up in the mid day, you know, but that right, still, you know, nice beach here. So, I'm gonna show you where we come in with you now. Yeah, so, this is where we come in back with. Yeah, man. Nice mackerel, you know. Nice mackerel. A lovely red belly. Yeah, man, they my red belly, me like getting you know, a fat one here. Yeah. Yes, man. Nice, you know? Two lovely fish. Food you want to cook in this, you know? And then we just go, go and clean up until the canada come in, you know? Why the road you now see him here, you know? on the beach side you know. oh. I'm coming back this way man mm, so can I have to come in here yeah. look how string this so you don't know where things set you know original camera man there I see him here you know. yeah ain't it yeah, the, 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 the view from here so that's a spectacular yeah, man. beautiful man look good mm. nice beach day if you come and relax you know as I said from before yeah, man. so we are going to eat the road you know as you don't know the thing set we have a couple of things to go deal with mm. I'll get them done, you know. Yeah, man, so. Guys, remember, you know, stay tuned to the channel. We'll do some kind of cook up. I'm not sure yet. We'll have a go on. Stay tuned. I'll cook up some of the fish. You know. and some are two fish, but a two nice fish. Two nice fish. You can get two cook out of them. So, stay tuned. I'll do some. Yes, guys, some reach over, you know. And so the two fish, yeah man, the mackerel and the red belly, you know? Mm. I'm gonna go cook the mackerel today after. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna steam the red belly and mash it up with like rice and peas, you know? Yeah man, so I'm gonna start with the season and it, you know? Mm. Warm up the pot feet. Mm. So stay chill. Okay, so see this here now? This we have some seasoning on it, some regular powder seasoning and um, okra, this honey and scallion and thyme, we have hot pepper, yeah man, we have hot oil today again. Mm, that's about it. But we have had a couple more things in there when we steam it down, like the nobles and you know, yeah man.
flipping it on the next side. I'm frying it, I'm frying it. You know? I'm frying it, I'm frying it. I'm frying it, I'm frying it. Fish in a so much something. Hmm? Nice, you know, man. Let's see what's going on here now. Yes, yes. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Real good, you know. Mm, I'll take, I'll take it off, you know. Mm. I'll take it off, you know. Yes, so you know, the man with rice and peas and the red belly tail, you know. The yeah, man at dinner this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jump up and down in this, you know. So, you know, what thing going on, guys. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel for the next video. The yeah, man hit the notification bell to you know, so you get notified when you upload it. Mm -hmm. So until next time, that's all things I check out.